I heard somebody again on the uh, Georgia SDR station calling. Try again, please. The uh, Georgia SDR station calling. Try again, please. In one LQ, this is Kilo Charlie Nine, Victor Kilo Victor, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. Uh, what's the name there? Hello, Victor, the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. Uh, what's the name there? Hello, Jim. KC9 VKV from November 1, London, Quebec. My name is David. And we're located about 20 miles north of Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm copying you about a 5 and 8 with a little QSB. Over. Roger, Roger, David, and what radio are you running today, sir? Roger, Roger, David, and what radio are you running today, sir? Well, we're running an unusual transceiver. This is called an RGO-1. R-G-O-O-N-E. It is a power transceiver made in Bulgaria by LZ2JR. I've had it since a year ago, May. I've never heard it. But it's a very nice radio, one of my favorites of all time. The receiver is very, very um, both sensitive and selective. And, uh, please, uh, frequencies in use, no tune up, please. Please, uh, frequencies in use, no tune up, please. Yes, sir. David uh, copied most of that. Uh, there was uh, somebody that just had to tune up. You know how that goes. Uh, but I, I think they got tuned up finally and uh, uh, did to copy the mail. And if you would like to hear your station, uh, we are recording now. And uh, if you go to YouTube and do a call and a search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 91021, it will take you uh, directly to this recording. And it usually takes us uh, a couple of days to get it uploaded. Roger? Roger, Roger, David. Well, someone has decided to operate a couple of KC off. <laughs> uh, so after we've been on the air for about uh, 15 minutes already, they decided to uh, scooch in there at about 2K off, and uh, we had a little uh, sideband garbage. But anyway, um, such is life in the big city. Uh, well, uh, yeah, like I said, we'll have this uh, probably posted uh, maybe Saturday morning, but... Uh, uh, at least within 48 hours anyway. So thanks for dropping by. And um, uh, gosh, uh, what is the um, uh, the term for uh, uh, good luck in uh, Bulgarian? Do you know? For uh, uh, good luck in uh, Bulgarian, do you know? <laughs> I have no idea. And I'm very fortunate that the gentleman who makes this radio runs a business in Bulgaria, electronic business, and he speaks um, much better English than I ever would Bulgarian. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, uh, the radio really sounds good. And you know, the thing is, uh, maybe um, maybe you might be better off with an outboard processing uh, piece of gear there because, uh, you know, they make uh, fairly inexpensive outboard processors that give you a, a wide latitude of uh, control, and you can just uh, plug it in your mic, Roger. Oh, and you can just uh, plug it in your mic, Roger. Yes, QSL on that. I actually have an older Tentec uh, 715 outboard RF processor here that I use on my other station, which is a Corsair 2. 
Station, 1989. And I think we have got to try and get out with this radio. We're going to experiment with that for the next few weeks, four days. Well, good suggestion, and I appreciate that very much, over. Roger, Roger, David, and uh, one other thing, where are you located, sir? Roger, Roger, David, and uh, one other thing, where are you located, sir? Roger, Roger, David. I was just looking around uh, to see if I could copy you locally on my loops, and uh, I could not hear uh, anything. So uh, I am copying you on the uh, Georgia, believe it or not, the Georgia SDR, Roger. And you're about, looks to be about uh, 6 to 7 dB above the noise level. About uh, 6 to 7 dB above the noise level. I heard you calling for Charlie up in northern New Hampshire. We have heard him on the air for many, many years. And I was uh, disturbed and, and uh, sad to hear that he is not in good health right now. They were looking for that he recovers and able to be on the air. He is a very interesting gentleman, uh, Jim Orr. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The quad essential ham radio operator uh, be, before Marconi I think I'm not sure if he was before Marconi or not Roger Marconi I think I'm not sure if he was before Marconi or not Roger I think he was down on Wesley Beach to welcome Marconi when he stepped off the boat to SL yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> uh, I was looking at uh, Charlie's uh, QRZ page, and uh, I think he's got something like 37, 3,700 lookups. Just amazing amount of lookups on QRZ, Roger. Lookups, just amazing amount of lookups on QRZ, Roger. Yeah, QSL. Um, he's been doing it a long time, and uh, he's always uh, been very gracious with QSOs that I've had with him. So again, uh, he's the voice of up the far north of New Hampshire, up the very, very far up near the Canadian border, uh, up in the area of the Balsams and Coldbrook, New Hampshire, which is a long way from my QTH, like you know. Roger, Roger. Well, David, uh, let me say 73 to you, sir, and thanks for dropping by. And like I say, we'll uh, have this uh, up to YouTube in the next uh, 48 hours, probably 24 hours, Roger. YouTube in the next uh, 48 hours, probably 24 hours, Roger. We'll look forward to it. It'll be something for us to listen to. It's greatly appreciated, uh, uh, Jim. As I said, I, I have never heard this over the air, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so my regards to you. That's 73, and uh, we'll look for you another afternoon. KC9, Victor, Kilo Victor from N1LQ. Uh, best to you, uh, Jim, 73 for now. Roger, Roger, David, 73, sir. This is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. We're recording now live till 5, then we'll post it up on YouTube, so you can uh, go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by today's date, 9-10-21, and it will take you uh, directly to this recording. So, uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. So, uh, if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. <laughs>